Hey, how is everyone? Lou here from RV Habit. I'm going to show you five gadgets that I've installed that uh, I always use when I'm driving my RV and uh, maybe a few more also. But I'm going to leave links to everything I show you in the description below. And I'll also do a blog article on my website, rvhabit.com, and I'll have all the links and, and more information on it. Um, and the first thing actually is the radio that's actually installed in my RV uh, that comes pre-installed and that's the uh, the Jensen radio now this has a lot of different options it also has the availability to use as a navigation system and a backup camera now I do not use it for the navigation I don't find it too reliable and uh, I just find a secondary GPS a lot better I'll show you that in a second what I've installed but what I did do on this are two things uh, that I use all the time. And the first is the camera. So instead of a backup camera, if I press that, you can see I'm looking, I don't know if you can see, I'm looking at the rear of my rig. So I've installed this camera up here. And that allows me to look behind me so I could see what's going on in the rig without having to turn around. I love that option. And the second thing I did, I installed Sirius XM radio. Now I did not get the Sirius XM directly into the Jensen. You can do that. This comes with a kit that you can get the Sirius XM in this radio. But the problem with that is, is I can only listen to it when I'm driving. If I'm parked, I can't listen to Sirius on the coach radio so what I did is I bought this I bought two car kits with this radio and I can actually take this off so when I'm in parked I can put this in the back on the coach radio and listen to Sirius XM and when I'm driving I just attach it to this car kit and I can listen to it on the car radio and it, it re connects real easy and as you notice you don't see any wires I'm real particular I hate wires hanging in front of everything uh, everything I have here is hardwired and the second thing that the rig actually comes with is a rear view camera and backup camera now mine is mounted where the rear view mirror would be I love it in that spot it's very natural to look up to that spot to see what's behind you and what's nice about this is it'll stay off unless you put the car in reverse or you can press the power button if you have say a toad or something and you could watch the uh, the toad and what's behind you um, it also has side cameras so if I turn my left blinker on a left ca camera will come on and show me the left lane and if I put my right blinker on the right blinker the right camera will come on and show me the right lane and uh, this, I think, is made by RVS Systems. And uh, again, I love it in this spot. I don't really care for it when they put them down here in the radio. It's not natural for me to look down there to see what's behind me. I always go right here. So it's very, very natural. Um, the What was that? That's, I don't know, one, two. The next thing is navigation. Now, Again, like I said, I don't really care for the navigation in the Jensen system, and it's difficult to update. So I went out and I got a Garmin RV-specific GPS. This one is the RV660, and I don't believe they make this size anymore. They only make the 770, which is a little bit bigger. It's this is a six inch screen versus the seven inch screen. It's the same exact uh, GPS, but I love this system. It's very easy to operate. Uh, you can talk to it. You can set your rig dimensions in it. Uh, it does a whole bunch of stuff. And the next thing is I have actually a CB. I don't know if you can see it down there. And that's a Bearcat 880. And I really only have it. I originally got it. God forbid there's an emergency and there's uh, no cell service or something like that. Hopefully, in, depending on the part of the country, you can get in touch with somebody. And also it has a NOAA radio alert on it. But I also installed, I'll show you this. That is a Midland 
I think it's XT275, and that is a GMRS radio. And what's nice about that is it does have NOAA alerts in it, but it also allows you, if you're traveling with somebody, it allows you to talk to them, uh, you know, in, in another rig or something like that. It's basically, if you don't know what GMRS is, it's those little pocket radios you can buy for like $30. Uh, most a lot of people use them when camping you know you send the kids somewhere and you can talk to them this is basically the same thing same channels same license everything except it's mounted in the vehicle and again this also has uh, NOAA weather alerts on it the most important thing I probably have and I would recommend everybody who travels in an RV or uh, pulls a trailer is a tire pressure monitoring system. Now I use EEZ Tire. Uh, I got it off of a couple recommendations from other RVers and I like the screen size and everything. Uh, this thing works fantastic. Now this is my RV, this is my Toad. Right now, what's nice about this unit is you can actually unlink your Toad. So if you're not pulling your Toad, it will not be looking for the tire pressures and give you warnings. So you can just use it with the main RV or if you're pulling a trailer, just your truck or car, or you can link it back up and you can also monitor your towed and or your travel trailer. And like I said, this one, I don't know if you can see that with the light, but this one works really, really well. I've had no problems with it. I would highly recommend it. Uh, there's a bunch of brands out there. I really can't uh, speak to the quality of them. I've never used them. I've only used this brand, but as I said, this brand I'm very happy with. And that's about it. A uh, couple other things maybe. I keep a USB plugged in so I can charge my cell phones if I need it. Uh, it has a 12 volt if you need something 12 volt. Um, oh, when driving at night, this cup holder, I have a Ford E450. It is pitch black in here and you can't see anything in this tray. So I installed a couple blue LED lights on this switch here. So when I turn it on, it lights this up just enough where you can see if you gotta grab something, if you gotta grab your cell phone or a cup of coffee or something, you can actually see it now. And what else? Oh, I have these levels, one here on a dashboard for left to right. And I have one on my door for front to back and basically all it does is when i'm parking it allows me to see the most level spot now i get it somewhat level and then i use uh i purchased a level mate pro and if you guys don't know what that is I'll, I'll leave a link i did another video on that i'll leave a link somewhere on the screen but if you have an rv or a travel trailer you need to do yourself a favor and get a level made pro those things are fantastic you can level your rig within a quarter of an inch it's just amazing it works really really well and that's about it uh again those are the gadgets i use when i'm driving those are my essentials uh, i'll leave description uh links in the description below i'll also do a blog article on my website rv habit i do appreciate everybody watching if you enjoy these videos and uh, jeep videos be sure to hit the subscribe button and as always i'll see you soon